Babe. Yeah. Put the fan in front of you, and then it'll be your biggest fan. <laughs> Good one. My only fan. <laughs> Are you my biggest fan? And it's one I, I I have to think about a lot these days because um, I think <laughs> my wife just came home. Um, the true story of J.R. Slayer though is that he's alone and he eats everything and devours everyone and he, all he wants is a friend but his, his true nature is to destroy and... I never really appreciated your art until doing this video. Oh really? Yeah, I was like, wow. oh my god, I get it. What was it that made, made you... The song really fits well with those images because mm -hmm. what I hate in life is cutesy things more into like Bauhaus. Those are very cute. Huh? I'm more into Bauhaus. Yeah, I'm more into Bauhaus art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open up a show for my brother Rocky, who's coming to play in LA, and I'm trying to decide what acoustic guitar I'm gonna use. And to determine which one sounds better, we're gonna do a sound test where LJ is gonna close her eyes and tell me which one she likes better. Eyes closed? May I speak? Yes. <laughs> People, make sure he's not cheating and playing the same guitar twice because that is so something that I would do. Okay, there's one. No, I think I need a little more. Okay. I think I need a little more. <laughs> you don't. I love that song so much. Okay. First one. Oh my god, first one. Stop. Sorry, Give me Fender. That. Sorry, Fender. Oh, baby, but look at the back. Can you put that in the, in oh, the yeah. Martin Isn't acoustic? Polaroid? Look at this one. This was when we were dating and we're far apart. It's immediate. Yeah. I really don't know anything about guitars. The fact that I can tell the difference is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna rehearse now. Are you telling me I can't speak unless I'm spoken to? Unless you're spoken to, and sometimes not even then. <gasps> See how mean he is off camera? <laughs> he thinks he's off camera. I'm on camera. Oh, you Look know. At you. <laughs> For a couple of days. So since the band doesn't have a dedicated keyboard player, uh, a lot of that falls onto me. I traditionally write all of the synthesizer lines and everything, and then we, we run them and play along to them live. Uh, not ideal, I'd love to have a person, but it uh, hasn't worked out, costs more money, etc, etc. So today I'm gonna write some some synthesizer tracks for the head-on cover that we play by Jesus and Mary Chain. This is my keyboard that I'm going to use, and I'll use Logic. I actually normally use a, a traditional MIDI controller, but that's currently at my rehearsal space, and I'm at home and don't want to go there, so I'm gonna work with this ARP Odyssey and see if I can make it work for what I need. Had to take a little break there so I could use my phone to figure out how we played the song. Okay, now that I've got the guitar sort of mapped out, maybe I can figure out the synthesizer. Just a quick thing, but LJ leaves this thing sitting around all over the house, and it taunts me on a daily basis. I can't go backwards. I'm not an ambi-turner. Cody cooked for me, he was so supportive, he got me water, he got me medicine, he's the best husband ever. You know, there's no freaking space in this kitchen, can't cook anything. Are you Do trying anything? to mock me right now? No, I'm not mocking yeah, you. Yeah, you're I'm basically being right. Very annoying. I'm serious. Now. What we're gonna try to do is he has a lot of skills in procreate, procreate on the iPad. Self-taught skills, very basic skills. Yeah, but, but I'm that's learning. me with YouTube. <laughs> JR Slayer was a initially a character that I developed because I had a dream of making a comic book. He's the main character in the video singing the song and then there's lots of friends along the way that pop in. They come in, they sing along with them. So cute! They have little adventures. His love letters included the character. Now he doesn't give me any love letters unfortunately. It's not true as I'm with you all the time singing you love songs and telling you I love you. This is just like a sample cut. <laughs> 
Anyway, we'll- Cool, some of that I hadn't actually seen. We'll see how this creative process works, especially because we're so different. Yeah. LJ's been sick all week, so since it's Saturday night, we came for a dessert at Fred 62. 52, not 60. This Why do I keep thinking 60? That says 25, you're reading it backwards. Oh. Yum. Hey, hey, this is WFHR Dearborn, featuring local and independent artists. Mm. Local and independent. Featuring local and independent. Oh. In independent. Independent. Featuring local and independent artists. I spent many years struggling to rely on music to provide my, my income. And that became a very toxic relationship I had with it. And it, it ruined music for me. Started this thing with, with no intention of, of even doing anything as simple as having a Zoom interview with, with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was not something that was, I just wasn't an, an aspiration. And now I'm dipping my toe in it and I've taken time off work and I, I'm putting energy into trying to create something that, that could potentially become something uh, that was a little more full time. And that's, that's scary. So I think the, the ultimate goal as somebody who writes a song is to have a listener who feels alone, doesn't feel alone. There's somebody in Des Moines, Iowa right now that stumbled across it and something about the songs resonated with them and they're, they're no longer alone. They have, they have something. You know, the music for me is very therapeutic, so I, I feel like it, it could potentially be therapy for people. But it's also fun, so I, I hope people can listen to it and dance and, and have a good time and, and sort of release the energy that is maybe stuck inside of them. It's it's sort of hard to measure, like, say something to your fans, because I don't know what that means quite yet. Uh, Are you my biggest fan? So, so to the future fans, I... I Say like maybe somebody comes and sees us at the Seosin show and they don't know anything about us and they enjoy it and like it and then they start checking it out. Like to me, like I appreciate people's need for for music. Bye. Oh, that's so short. Is it at one? Twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> music for me is very therapeutic, so I I feel like it it could potentially be therapy for people. Feeling this. So emotional. Have a listener who feels alone, doesn't feel alone. <laughs> Unlike the vlogs, you have total trump card on this. You know, okay. like the wife thing, like I was like, I have to keep it in. <laughs> um, this one, if you don't like anything, we can take it out and change okay, it. Okay, great. That's number one. And I won't get offended if you're like, oh, that's uh, so ugly. I gave LJ like a broad strokes of what I kind of thought should happen in the music video with the idea that she could adjust and take it and run with it. I sent her the JR Slayer character. Four versions yeah, of Yeah, four different versions of it, a bunch of different ghosts. And then I sent her backgrounds and things that she requested, like the binoculars. I also and... requested drums. Oh yeah, drummer. I mean, that was ghost. very nice. That one was fun to draw, yeah. actually. You sent me mostly still images. Images were great, thank you, baby. I did it without animation or any movement. It just looked so yeah. like boring. Yeah. So I really had to like switch things up. No, that's that's, that's, what, that's yeah. totally cool. I'm, I'm excited okay. to see. I asked him to send me a video recording of him writing the lyrics. They they worked well, I think, and they're legible. Cool. Um, even though they're cursive, which is hard to read yeah. people, but I really did slow it down. So the only time I didn't use your font or images is the very beginning, and you'll see why because it's like the introducing. Okay. Because you and I talk about a lot, the character, we really mm -hmm. weird. Right. But I have a list of things to tell Cody. <laughs> music video research, I didn't do that, sorry. I was like, gonna do that if we had time and like figure out what music, because I haven't seen the music video for so long. Our voice only, which is a good thing. Which is a bad thing. That's like, you think you're smarter than 10,000 of people who already like did this for a living before <laughs> you. One idea I had, and shoot me down, because it might, it, for me it's a lot more work right after. <laughs> Babe, we can't do those things anymore. Oh yeah, it's like me too. Anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, one idea I had, and this is just because I think you're so handsome. The last chorus, it can transition from the ghost to you. So you come on the, <laughs> so it becomes fully live. Oh. So it's like the ghost is like dancing, and okay. then I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. I'll make it so you turn into the ghost. So I'm going to the gym. He's never seen the video, so he's going to give me all of his edits. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. 
Now, is this the face of someone who, watching his music video for the first time, has realized that he has perhaps made the worst decision for both his band and marriage? Or could it be the face of someone who actually likes what he's seeing? Find out on the next episode of the Votalot. <laughs> I still can't say her last name. The Votalotta Diaries. But in the meantime, you can decide if it was worth the risk in hiring his amateur wife, free, and saving money since he quit his job to pursue his emo dreams. The video went live today on the Memory Music YouTube channel, so please click here and let us know in the comments what you think. See you next week! Bye.